Hey everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team answering a question that we get a lot, which is how do we design um, unique flyers and documents using Google Docs? Um, as some of you know, Google Docs has a lot of great tools built into it and a lot of great features and benefits, but it's not always the most powerful use of a uh, word processing program for creating things like flyers with graphics and layers and background. Um, and some of you will use Microsoft Word to do that and some of you will use Microsoft Publisher for that. But one of the tools that you can use um, still within the Google Drive and Google Apps is the Google uh, Drawing feature. Now this is something that works well on a computer. It is still a struggle to use it on an iPad. Um, if any of you are finding ways of doing that, we'd always love to hear them. But right now, it seems to be a, a little bit difficult to do on an iPad itself. So this is more for our teachers as they are thinking about um, creating flyers that they might need to hand out or, or uh, things for students. So here we are. I am in Google Drive, and we're going to take a look at clicking the Create button, Google Drawing. It is a Google app. It is built in. It's probably one of the uh, more underused Google apps, but it actually brings in a lot of the features that you've been wanting in uh, some of the more advanced editing pieces. So I'm going to click Google Drawing. And the first thing I'm going to do, because I am creating a flyer, is I'm going to go File, Page Setup. Now, it starts with some pretty standard um, screen formats, but if I click Custom, I can make this just the way I'd like it to. So I'd like this to be for a sheet of paper I'm going to print out that's 8.5 by 11 inches. So a standard sheet of printer paper. And now I have what I need to get started. What's nice about this compared to Google Drive is that in Google Drive, everything's text-based, which means that the text has to follow in an order. And when you drop an image in, just like in Word, all the things wrap around it, but you can't overlay, which sometimes you might need to do. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start by inserting an image. Um, so just give me a second to grab something here. And I am going to grab my Yep, that looks good. So I'm going to use this Waukesha One logo. And you can see how that's nice and bright. And I want to use that as a watermark in this particular um, layout. So what I can do is I can, first of all, reshape it. And I can uh, you know, do some rotating if I need to by clicking on this up here and doing some of those rotation things. All right. Now, I do have to trick this a little bit. I want this guy to be a watermark behind my text. And there's no way to set the opacity when you bring an image like this in. But there is a way to trick the uh, document into showing that opacity. So what I'm going to do is I am now going to grab a shape tool. And I am going to overlay. And I probably will just do this for the whole page for consistency's sake. I'm gonna set that color to white. So I'm changing the background color here in my paint bucket. Now the second part of that is I'm gonna come down, click the paint bucket, notice I still have my shape selected and I'm gonna click custom. In here, there's a transparency tool and I can bring that down. And now it looks like I've got a ghosted watermark. What I really have is two layers my full color image in the back, and then an overlay that has ghosted this out. All right, now I can bring in a text box and type in the middle of it, and you'll see all of my, all of my editing features are here, so I can change the text and the highlight and the size and one of the million different um, fonts that are available to me. And we'll set this in the middle just so that it looks a little bit um, little bit nicer here. There we go. And we'll also put that right in the middle. Great. So we've got our meeting, and I put another text box down here with all of the details. Sorry, I just don't want to waste your time doing this part. All right, so we've got that all set up and ready to go now. So now I'm ready for this. I can drop in, by the way, other images if I need to. I can make some other formatting changes if I need to. Now, what I can do twofold, once I've got my document and flyer all set up and ready to go, 
I can either print right from here, which is probably what I would do in this particular instance. There's no need to transfer it over to a Google document. But in the event that I had something I was going to lay into a Google document, like I was creating an interesting graphic that I was going to lay into a Google document, I would use one other not well-known feature. Now notice I have nothing selected right now. I'm going to click Edit, Web Clipboard, and I'm going to copy the entire drawing to a web clipboard. So once I do that, this is Google's special way of copying and pasting when you have a lot of data layers or a lot of information. So now, if I were to open up a Google document, just for the sake of demoing this, I wouldn't typically do this again with something this large, but if I wanted to, I would go Edit, Web Clipboard, and I would paste that drawing. Do a little bit of reshuffling and resizing it to fit on the page the way I'd like to. By the way, you'll notice that black outline, I could have gotten rid of that. So here's my cover page to my report. And now I can start typing right in the Google document. And it looks like I've got a fancy cover page, but all I've really done is bring in the Google document uh, or the Google drawing using the web clipboard. So that is one way of tricking Google Docs. Let's see if that laid out for me. I had to get out, fix that. That is one way of us uh, tricking Google Docs into bringing in unique or customized images that have ghosted images or watermarks or um, a unique layout, something like this. And the beauty of Google Drawings is that that text stays in layers, so you can always move things around and add additional layers or give it additional columns or whatever you need to do. This is a fully customized web layout um, or, or document layout tool. So it's a great way to uh, really make some interesting images and then still have those collaborative pieces uh, that you can bring into it by dropping it into a Google document and then doing your editing there. Just like everything with Google Docs, that Google Drawing, uh, walk one flyer, so I'll name it quick, that Google Drawing can be shared using all of the same things that we typically use in our share settings, and it does have a web address, so it can be shared out with other people through the web, so you can create a flyer and then email it home um, without having people giving ed editing privileges. So. That is Google Drawings in a quick nutshell, but it might be a great way for you to start doing some of the layout on your uh, flyers and other things that you might need to add to Google Documents or other images. As always, if you have questions, feel free to contact any of the instructional technology coordinators.